I don't actually remember doing that, but apparently I had my sleeves rolled up at my own wedding during the ceremony. That's such, that's something I do. I always do that. The morning of the wedding, I remember opening the door. There was Simon James, our photographer, and actually the photographer who trained me in the very beginning. He was right there at the door and he's like, well, let's go. Do you know how to tie ties? Do I know Better how to? Do. do you know what? I wear bow ties all the time. Ties, however, yeah. never. Yeah. I would have thought it would have yeah. been like a prerequisite for a photographer. You'd think so, right? Ties. Sorry, I'll man. give you a refund. <laughs> <laughs> going to town to buy belts because we realised that we hadn't bought any belts for anyone and there was a whole bunch of different things that we'd forgotten between the groomsmen. Did you kiss on your wedding day? What was it like? What was the kiss like? Oh, that's lovely. Look at the, I can see the love. So what's your scarlet, your handsome face? It's actually Kieran Knightley. Sorry, Kieran Knightley? Show me. <laughs> You were a model back in your day, weren't you? Look at those beautiful eyes. Sorry, I'm coming. Thank you. I'm, I might be flirting with I've you, but... I've never, never paid so many compliments. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. So Brittany, all these years, she's been pretending to be a singer, but actually she's a beatboxer, OK? Brittany's going to provide the beat, and you guys are going to come up with a wedding-related rap. Oh, easy. On the count of three, Brit. One, two... Ooh. <laughs> I just think that we place too much importance on the photography, on the cameras, on the gear, and not enough importance on just the people and having a good time with them. Can you believe the day's finally here? No. Proud of him? Yes, very proud of him. They're saying for your purse. Oh. It's really special. You can keep that one. Thank you. You're welcome. A friend of mine, Anthony, uh, had an old Polaroid 110A, which is a camera, I think, from like 1950s-ish, which he just turned up with on the day and started photographing um, Polaroids with it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he just grabbed a few. Like, there were some that we didn't even realise he was taking them, and just before we left, I remember he handed me this book, and he said, this was your wedding day. So the old Polaroid 110A, the old camera that I've been shooting with today, it's actually the camera that the little photos that I showed you in that book, um, that's the camera that they were shot with. My friend who took those photos um, was selling that camera. He actually contacted me and he said, hey James, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be selling that camera. I thought I'd let you know first in case you wanted to buy it. I did buy it and it's the exact same camera that. Those photos were taken with that my wedding. We eventually get to the hotel. And we're, we're sitting on the end of the bed. You know, we're just chatting about the day. And then, remember, I just pulled this out and I just said, "Honey, this was our wedding day." And we just sat, we sat there on the end of the bed and just lost it. We we're like. I always wanted to, to do something like this for someone else. I didn't want to do exactly the same thing, but I wanted to do something um, where I could actually deliver something at the end of the day for them to be able to start reliving their wedding day straight away.
just let loose and I'd dance like an idiot because I can't dance. <laughs> I enjoy it though.